In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to set up your master pages and your subscription pages for your magazine. Let's go start in InDesign, do File and New and New Document. I'm going to go ahead and change this over to inches. I want an 8.5 by 11 in portrait. I want 16 pages. Depending on how you layout out your mock-up, you might have 20 or 24, so you can put those in now go ahead put facing pages and we do want to start on page one. We're not going to put a primary text frame in because it just becomes an extra thing to look at sometimes. For columns we want to go ahead and say one. For margins let's go ahead and say 0.5 all the way around. For our bleed and our slug let's go ahead and set those to 0.25 for all the way around for the bleed and 0.25 for the slug for the just the top. Go ahead and say create. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my pages. If you don't have pages open already, you can see that your document now has 16 pages. It has a bleed that's set with the red, the slug is set with the blue, and your margins are set with the pink. You'll see at the very top we've got our None Master and our A Master. For this document we're actually going to create another master which is the B Master which will help us lay out the subscription cards because they have very different layout and guides and it's easier to set them up as a master. So let's go ahead and go over to our right master and right click and do new master. We want it to be called master B based on master. Number of pages is going to be two and say OK. So this one's going to be a little bit different. Let's go up to view, fit spread in window if you don't see it already. If you have to you can squish your panels, give yourself a little bit more room. Let's go up to layout go to margins and columns and we're set them all to zero and we want to make sure because we want to make sure that there's nothing here to misguide us visually as we're putting our cards together and let's go ahead and say OK let's go to layout margins and or create guides next one down we want to set these for the me master we're gonna go ahead and do preview if you don't have preview clicked already. For rows we want three, the gutter to be zero. For columns we want three and the gutter to be zero. I'm going the wrong way. And we want to make sure they fit the guides to the page and say OK. Now we need to align these to make it easier to lay out your cards. It's already divided the page into thirds for you, which makes it a lot easier. This is how big one of your cards is. So let's go ahead and move this guide right here over to 0.5 inches and the second one over to 5.5. So this section right here is actually your one-third page ad this is your card itself. We put this little guide in here in order to make it easier for you to align things as you are putting the cards together. Alright, let's go ahead and adjust these guides. One's going to go to 11.5, so there's your one-third page ad, and the other's going to go to 16.5. So now you can see you've got the two pages, you've got the room for the cards in here, this is your room for your advertisement, and that's all we need to do for that one. So let's go ahead and work on our Master A. Go ahead and click on Master A. We're going to go ahead grab our Type tool. We're going to drag a type box here at the bottom. You're going to go ahead and select whatever characters you have to, you want to create with your, for your publication. I'm just going to do Standard right now. So the first thing we're going to do is type in our page number. So we need to go to type, insert special character, we want markers, and we want current page number. And you're going to get the letter A. That is what you're supposed to get. That tells you you're working on the master. The next thing we're going to do is insert some space. So we're going to go to type, insert white space, and we want an M space. We then want to type your publication name, so put the name of your magazine in now. We're going to go ahead, do type, 
insert white space, put another M space in, and you put, put the date of your publication. So maybe it's fall 2018. Uh, depends on what you've got going on for your publication. All right. You can then go, if you want to, you can go up to your window, character, under type and tables. And if you want to go ahead now and reset your style, make sure you have the, the font, what you want to change highlighted. Go ahead, choose your, that's pretty decorative. I'll go with that. Choose your information and you can use your selection tool to kind of adjust that accordingly. All right, so now you need to do it on the other side. So I'll go ahead, draw another text box. But this one is backwards. So you want to make sure that, because you want to make sure the page numbers end up on the outside of the pages. So let's go ahead, write your publication name. Type, insert white space, M space, date of your publication, type, insert white space, M space, type, special character, markers, current page number. But you see right now it's floating as because it's left aligned in the box. We want it to be right aligned. So let's go up here to the top and hit so it's right aligned. And go ahead and apply the same styles that you did. What did I choose? I don't remember what I ended up choosing. Here we go. Choose the same information for your publication. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust that a little bit. So I want to make sure that my footer is below this margin. If I don't, it'll end up in my text of my magazine, which gets to be kind of a pain. All right, I'm going to close character. I'm going to go back to pages, and I'm going to switch to page one. And I can now see that each page Oh, the, public, the publication I have, the font that I chose, doesn't have any page numbers. So that's why it came up as, as a box. So I'm going to go back up to A, grab my type tool, select a different font, so window, character. I'm going to go ahead and choose something else. We'll go with something really obnoxious. I'm going to change it over here as well. Now I'm going to go to my pages and go to my pages and I can see I now have my page number, my publication name, and my date on every single page, which is exactly what I want. So now we need to go ahead and start set setting up those subscription cards. For the subscription cards we're going to use the B Master. So let's go ahead up to our B Master, grab the right hand B Master page, and drag it down to page 9. Let's grab the left hand B Master page and drag it down to page 10. In order for your cards to work, they have to start on an odd page and end on an even page. So they end up with the third page ad in the middle of both sections. So now you can see we now have those guides, I'll scroll out a little bit, on both of those pages. So they will print out back to back and turn into a card. All right, so one of the next things we're going to do is create some perforation lines, those lines that say either cut here or would be the little tear lines. So let's go ahead, grab our line tool. I'm going to grab a line, and I'm going to drag it from the top of the page along this guide. If I hit Shift, it'll make sure that my line goes straight. I'm going to let go. I want to make sure that my line is, I'm going to make it about three points. And I managed to make it crooked, so I'm going to undo that. Do it one more time. Line tool, shift, hold, release mouse, release shift. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and make it three points. And I'm going to choose Japanese dots because they kind of look like the little perforation dots. So I can hit my W and see how it looks so far. I want to go ahead then and add more perforation dots along these two lines. So I'm going to grab my line tool again, hit shift, 
drag along this guide. Let go mouse, let go shift. I'm going to make it the same size, so three points and Japanese dots. Now rather than draw the line again, I'm going to switch to my selection tool, hit alt, and drag that down. Now I'm going to do a control C and copy it. And let's go down to page 10. And let's go ahead and paste those same dots onto the guides on this side. And you can do the same with your page 9. Grab the long one. Copy. B. Paste. Control V. Alright, so now it's starting to make sense. You'll see that this, in the one-third page ad, you ignore the two guides right here. And these are your the back side of your subscription cards. So let's go ahead and go up to page 9 and start to play with the beginning of creating your subscription cards. This is going to vary depending on the mockups you chose, but there is some very basic information that has to be there. So let's go ahead and create a text box in here. And in here I need to put, or let's do, we can do this way instead. Let's go ahead and grab a rectangle frame tool. If you right click, it'll say content, you can change it to text. So there's a couple different ways to make a text box. I'm going to grab my type tool, click inside, I'm going to write name, I know I need address, I need city, slash state, slash zip. You can do these on three different lines. You can do it on one line. It's totally up to you. I'm going to go ahead and put zip on the next line. All right. So it's easier to create this as one box and play with your paragraph setting than it is to go ahead and try and create a whole bunch of little tiny boxes that you then have to align. So let's go ahead and create our character attributes. So I can go ahead and use my 1942 report because that's what I was using before. And I can decide I want it to be, let's make it 14 points. So decide whatever character attributes you like. You're then going to create a character style. So go to Window, St Styles. You want character style because you need to have, for the rubric, you need to have a style created for your publication for this side. So let's go ahead and highlight what we've got. Let's go ahead and go to Alt and this post-it note right here and it's going to pop up the style thing. So I'm going to call this subscription card address. And I want it to apply to the section and say OK. So now I need to go ahead and make sure I apply subscription card address to all of these. The beauty of doing this is later on when you've got all three cards laid out and you decide, hey, I like, I want to change it, it's really easy to go in and change that style. Alright, so let's go ahead and play with the paragraph to give it a little bit more space between the lines. So let's go ahead and go to paragraph, either window type and tables or paragraph, and you can play with your different things here as to how much space you want to put in. So I'm right here doing space before and adding a little bit of space before to create the line, the spacing between those different lines. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and hit name and go to my paragraph style, do a alt and hit new. And I can do this as subscription card front and create a style for that as well. I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my subscription card front. So now you've got a paragraph and character style established, which will satisfy the assignment. All right, we can then do a selection tool. Select here. We can right click, 
fitting fit frame to content. I'm going to go ahead and bring it in just a little tiny bit more because that makes it easier when you're adding other elements to this page to not grab it on accident. You can, if you want to, start designing on layers. It's not required for the assignment, but if you do want to create layers for your text, for your graphics, it's something you need to think about doing now uh, rather than later so you can be an organized designer. All right, let's go ahead and add some horizontal blanks. So I'm going to grab my line tool and we need to draw a line that they would put the name on. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right outside the box for now. So I'm going to click, shift, hold, and I'm going to drag it over to that guide so that I know roughly how big to make it. Release mouse, relief shift, and I'm going to go ahead and make it just a skinny line. So maybe a 0.25. I'm going to scroll in so I can see a little bit better. And click out so I can see my line. All right, I then need several more lines. So you could copy and paste and try and mess with that, or you can use the step and repeat to do it. So let's go ahead and go to edit. Go down to step and repeat. Make sure preview is on. And we want to go ahead and have three of them. And we want the vertical offset not to be three inches. That's way too big. It's going to tell you it's got a problem. We want it to be, I'm going 0 0.3125 for now. So I can see what's going on. And click into here. And I only put one in instead of three, so I need to put three. So now I've, that's a little bit too close. I'm going to go ahead and adjust that a little bit bigger. And I'm going to say OK. So then I can go ahead and kind of play, play with these until I get them arranged kind of the way I want them to be. You can, after the fact, always go back and adjust where these are exactly. So it's totally up to you as to how you're going to lay that out. All right. So then you need to do some things like add your... I'm going to go ahead and drag select and move the whole thing up a little bit. And hit my top arrow, my arrow up to change that. I then need some boxes for my credit card and other things. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my rectangle tool. I'm going to grab shift and draw a box. I'm going to undo. I don't like that box. If I hit alt and do it, it will grow from the outside in. Let go your box, let go your alt. Right now it does not have a stroke, so you can't see the box. So I'm going to go ahead and add a stroke to it. And maybe I don't want it to be quite so thick. I'm going to be 0.25. Click out and I can see my box. If I do W, I can see what my card looks like so far. W again. So I can either step and repeat this one, or I can just do my copy and paste and grab my box, bring it down underneath. I can hit Alt and drag and create another one as well. Then I need my text next to it, so I'm going to grab my text tool, grab a text box. I need to write cash, credit card, check. I'm going to go ahead and grab my paragraph style, my character style over here subscription card address and it'll automatically fit that information for us. It's telling me I have overset text so I need to go ahead and resize my box a little bit. So that is the bare minimum of information that is required for the front side of the card. Clearly you want to probably add some other graphic information. You're trying to entice people to subscribe to your publication. Alright, let's go ahead to our pages tool and go ahead and go to page 10. Once, let's go back to page 9 real quick. Once you've got this completely the way you want it, maybe you've added, I'm going to go ahead and add a placeholder. Maybe you're going to add some graphic up here. Maybe you're going to add a graphic of some other items down here. Totally up to you as to what you're going to do. Once you've got one card created, I want you to drag select, so you select everything. Right click and group. 
And now everything is its own item and I can move all of this at one time. Why do you care? Because you have two more cards to make. So let's do a copy and a paste. And now you have a second card and the third card. You'll obviously want to line those up accordingly. So totally design one first, make sure it's what you want, then go through and design the others by doing a copy and paste. It'll make your life a lot easier. And just use those arrows to nudge where you want things to be. Be careful because this is the bottom of the page. You do not want to set items on the bottom of the page or they will get cut off. All right, so that's all for that side. For page 10, it is a business reply mail, which has a lot of requirements as far as the postal service goes. So this one has to have a business reply mail block. It has to have the indicia, which is the fake stamp. It has to have the different kinds of barcodes, a magazine address. So let's start with our indicia. Let's go ahead, draw a box up here. And it's no postage. It's all in caps. Make sure your dynamic spelling is on. It's amazing how many people spell this stuff wrong. No postage necessary mailed in the United States. But that's not quite the way I want it to be. I need to be centered. So I'm going to center it. And you'll notice right now it's really, really close to the top edge, and I don't want it close to the top edge. I'm going to go ahead and grab my selection tool, right click, and go to my text frame options. Make sure my preview is on. And I'm going to adjust my top inset spacing. So now how it's, see how it's bringing it down a little bit and centering it in there. Now it needs to have a box around it. Right now if I click out and do W, it doesn't have a box. It needs to have a box. So click on it and add a stroke. Do not draw another box and set it on top of it. That's too much trouble. And it's a little bit big right now, so I'm going to go ahead and squish it. Now my text frame uh, offset's a little bit too big, so I'm going to go ahead and right click and text frame options and here bring this, just adjust it a little bit so you can go ahead and play with it till you get it to fit. It's still a little bit big. I'm going to go to my type and take this down to maybe a 10 point instead. And then bring the edges of my box in. And move it up a little bit more. So then I've got my what's called the indicia. I then need the bars. So you need bars here, you need bars here, and you need a barcode. So I'm going to grab my line tool. I'm going to draw, hold shift and drag. I'm going to draw a line. Let go sh mouse, let go shift. I'm going to go ahead and make sure it has a stroke that's black. And just make it a really skinny one. These ones are skinny. So if I click out, I can see I've got a skinny line. I can then do my select, edit, step and repeat. And we need about six of them. So let's go, or let's do seven. Let's do seven of them. And we don't want it to have a vertical. We want it to have a horizontal. So the vertical is zero. And create your horizontal at oh, 0 0.0625. Click into another box and you can see what's going on. Or if you want to be a little bit wider apart, you can. Totally up to you. And OK. Now if you look at the samples, a lot of times I'm going to scroll in, control plus a whole bunch. These two are a little bit closer together, so I'm just going to grab that one with my arrows and nudge it a little bit closer. And I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, so now I need some lines underneath here. I, if I, these are a little bit long, so I'm going to go ahead, select them all, and make them all a little bit shorter. So you can change them as a group, which makes it nice. Let's grab our line tool. We need some lines underneath our indicia. So I'm going to go ahead, grab my shift, drag a line. It's about, see how it's, my smart guys are coming on? 
release my mouse, release my shift, and these ones need to be thicker, so let's go for about a three point. Let's go to edit, step and repeat. This time we need six of them, and these need a vertical offset. And let's go 0.125. So instead of having to copy and paste all those different lines, we can use the software to do the, the work for us. You're then going to need a business reply mailbox right here, which is full of text with a stroke on it. You're going to need a address right here. So what is the address of your publication? Uh, clearly that would be content as text, not as a graphic. And you need content as text here as well. And make sure that you are mimicking the business reply mails um, either that are on the sample or the ones that you chose. This is where the Postal Service gets very picky about how you've got things laid out. All right, there's also a little tiny line of text that goes right in here as well. Then you're going to need your barcode here at the bottom. So control plus or grab your zoom and zoom in. Small thin line. And there's going to be a whole bunch of them. So for me it's easier to do an edit, step and repeat. I know I want it to be zero vertical and let's grab just a little bit of horizontal and let's put six in there for now. Six, it, this is a little bit too wide right now so let's bring it can't bring it any smaller. Alright, so let's go ahead and say OK. We can go ahead and select them all and bring them in a little bit. Bring them in a little bit tighter because those barcodes at the bottom are a lot tighter. I can then go and copy that, paste it, grab my group, and you'll see the barcode at the bottom's got some funky offsets going on. So it's up to you as to how you're going to arrange this. Maybe you're going to copy it again, paste, but this time maybe take out two of the bars. So that's what you need to do for oh, a good two inches or so across the bottom. Once you've got this all done, click select, drag select, get everything, right click and group. So then you can do your copy and your paste and you can bring it down to this as well. And then you have created your subscription cards. So that is what you need to do for the very basics of getting your magazine set up. As another assignment, you'll be going ahead and creating your advertisement that goes right in here that gets people to subscribe to your magazine and one that goes in right here. So you will finish out those pages. Make sure you do a file, save as if you haven't already, first initial, last name, magazine. You need to set up a folder in your, let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's do a new folder. I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop that's called magazine project. So I make sure I put everything in there. Alright, so my new folder is called Magazine Project, and my file name is first initial, last name, magazine. I'm going to put today's date on it, so 092118. I'm going to date each time I do it, that way I know which one is most current, because you're going to end up with multiple copies of this, and that's intentional in case you lose something, in case you're not sure which one you're submitting, because you will resubmit this same document over and over again. Then I'm going to hit save. I then need to do file and package and go ahead and package it out with today's date and the word packaged and that's what you'd be to submit for the subscription pages and master's assignment. So it's a lot of individual elements but you can do this.